everyone! So excited to be here again. It was so much fun last time. I might be looking around. My bunny is hopping around. I'm just worried that he's not going to eat any cords. Oh, I might have to adjust my microphone. Oh no, he's hopping away. <laughs> One day maybe he'll hop right into frame and I can show everybody my lovely studio pet. Uh, let me know if you guys have any studio pets. In the chat, we can talk about them as we sketch because I always like to have my pet nearby as I sketch and sew. I'm just pulling up the sketches that I made last time and I haven't gotten around. This was the one that I ended up of the Penrose Peasant Blouse that I ended up really wanting to sew after I worked out all my ideas. I haven't done it yet. I've been a little busy, but it's definitely in the future and I'm going to kind of uh, rip out and maybe I'll just cut out and I have a separate book that I'm going to use for perspective sewing projects with swatches. I just really want to get organized. I've organized all my fabric. I've organized all my notions. I just need to organize kind of my sewing projects. And so this sketching series is really helping me do that just to be a little bit more mindful when sewing. I'm definitely one to just impulsively cut out a bunch of stuff and sew, not really thinking, do I really need this? What fabric would this best suit me and what purpose would it best serve me? Do I have anything like it? Would a friend or a family member really like this more than I would? So I'm just trying to be a little bit more mindful when I'm sewing and this is super helping me. So today I am going to sketch out ideas. I had <laughs> my sketchbook. Uh, I had, yeah, here we go. This has two larger figures. It's very faint. But as you can see, I'm going to do the Intero shell. This is a fabulous pattern. I'm actually wearing one right now. I've made so many. It's nice and cropped and breezy and billowy. And it just, it's so comfortable. I really like it. It's super easy to sew. I've made a bunch of them doing hacks. I've hacked one into a dress, a button up, a tank. It was actually a mini series that I did for Style Revive that I've linked to in the description, but I wanna do a scrappy one. Uh, the lovely Amanda Carestio, who's the designer of this pattern, actually did a scrappy version where she pieced all different fabrics together. And I wanna do my own. I haven't really played around with doing that. So I keep my scraps with my being all organized, I'm now keeping my scraps that are not big enough to really cut a full pattern in, but I mean, I could get a block out of them or a mask. I've sewn and cut a lot of face masks out of scraps, but I want to piece them together to create an entero shell. I love print mixing and I could never have enough of these. I really do wear them a lot, especially since the the weather here is getting a little bit warmer and it's just, I'm all about comfort these days. So today we're gonna have fun going through all my scraps and I'm going to um, sketch out what I can envision the scraps will look like paneled together, what kind of lines I wanna do. Do I wanna do squares? Do I wanna do Vs? Do I wanna do asymmetrical? This is where we are gonna work that all out. So as you can see, I have a lot a lot of scraps, but I think these scraps are more, actually, these are some nice linens. I might do, I, I think I have some linens. I might do a linen one. So I might just pile those and we can color block those. Here's a printed linen that's super, super cute. Those go, those are cute. And let me know what you think will go together. I just, I mean, I kind of love those print mixed. Aren't those cute together? I think that is so, so much fun. Oh, hello, Leslie from Vancouver, fellow Canadian. I'm here in Toronto. <laughs> yeah, let me know where you're watching from. Okay, I feel like I just need to dive in. I'm getting a little <laughs> overwhelmed by all my scraps, but I'm gonna do a linen one and I wanna do a silky one. I have this silk that is really fun. I made a jumpsuit out of it, but maybe I could pair that with this polka dot because they're both the same weight. What you really need to consider when you are paneling different fabrics together is indeed the weight. You, if you're doing like a knit and a woven, that's 
it doesn't really work that well. So, okay, let me do my linen one first and then I'm gonna sketch out ideas for this one. Okay, so let me just pile my linens and then I'm gonna find marker colors for them. I can already tell this lovely peacock shade. Can Oh, I mean, how can you throw away a piece of fabric like this? You could think, like, what are you gonna make in this? But this could be some large squares for a patchwork top. And I have been investing in just more high quality, eco-friendly fabrics. And so really, I do not want to throw them away at all. Oh, this is a linen too. Look at this coral. <gasps> do we love these colors together? I think we do. Would this go with them? No, I don't think so. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna play around with these three colors. Maybe I'll have to bring in some green stitching. It's really hard for me to sew something with no green in it. I do have some green linens, but I don't wanna cut into a big yardage of fabric without. <gasps> You'll never guess what I found. <gasps> a mint green linen, all right. Let's try how we can bring all these linens together. Maybe I could, I'll play around with just three of them too. Okay, so let me just put those in plain view. Okay, so I have a blue marker. This is fun. Okay, I'll put my scraps away so I can clean up my table a bit. Hopefully my bunny doesn't get all my scraps. <laughs> on the floor but I oh before I just start sketching just really quick what inspired me this is a robe that I did out of scrap pieces of fabric it's my revive robe and I designed it based on scrapping pieces together so there's lots of seams there's a raglan sleeve line there's a top sleeve line so you can do different panels on each sleeve the back belt casing is a piece so you can really have fun with paneling different prints together in a larger scale and it just you can create a whole row with just scraps all right let's get to it so I have some larger ones okay so first I need to coral let's establish our marker colors ta-da okay oh this is fun this one I have a feeling I'm going to cut and sew right when this is done. <laughs> Maybe I should do a live one time where I actually make it after. Would you guys like to tune in for me just sewing what I sketch right after? Oh, here's one, lime green. Perfect. And then we need this sort of maroon. Oh, there we go. Brick brown. I guess that is sort of a brick brown. It's lovely. All right, so I'm not gonna change up the silhouette at, at all, so I'm just gonna sketch out what the Antero shell looks like. All right, so it has this lovely V neckline. It's finished with a facing, so that's also something you need to consider when you cut and sew it. You'll need fabric for the facing. Just a little consideration. Um, maybe I will. It's so nicely just falls off the shoulder. It's basically just a nice big box and there's no like sleeve or anything. It's like a slit that you, that you finish. Just bring it in just a little bit. I think I might've drawn it a little bit. That's okay. nice V neckline. Fabulous. This croaky's a bit weird with his hands. I probably picked the wrong one. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Let's just start on this one. Because <laughs> there's hands on the hips and so I just, I'm just going to start on this one. And that's totally okay. Just, that's what I love about sketching. If you're not into it, just move on. <laughs> All right, this is this is a better pose for my croaky to um, emulate the silhouette 
I guess I'll have to practice wearing my intero shell with my hands on my hip to see how it flows. <laughs> All right, so we have, I'm just looking at reference. Oh yeah, there we go. This is much better. So we can do those little. All like it's such a basic top, but it really is so versatile. Okay, so I'm thinking like a like a mod like asymmetrical. I might just start drawing panel lines and then blocking them together. So I'm thinking maybe like a seam. Like there, that could be a panel. Maybe this one comes a little bit down. Maybe one in the center. Maybe we have like a little stripe there. And then this one comes like that. And then we have, what if we did like another block right here or something? You know what? You just try it. And this is good thing. If I didn't like this, good thing I didn't sew it. Because I'm going to work out how I want to hack my Antero. Okay. Here we go. I'm just going to finish out. I'm just going to give her some nini culottes that's what i'm wearing right now my summer uniform is an entero shell and nini culottes with pockets that i add that's what i'm wearing right now <laughs> so this is what i'm going to kind of put on them all right okay it kind of comes out a bit though. Okay. Oh, oh, look at that. That was an accident. But what if we did a band at the bottom? I feel like this needs to be bigger. Maybe I'll play around with that next time. So I'm just going to fill the rest in before I color. Now I'm using the sketchbook again today, but in the future I'm going to be using some of my own croquis based on my own body proportions. Just like to mix it up a bit. Sometimes you just want the ease of it already on the page. Okay. Alrighty, so. Then you also need to evaluate how much you have of each one. So I'm gonna pick up my mint. Obviously I wanna use most of the green, so just kinda visualize how much I have so I can replicate. I Let's do, let's try this panel in that green. Let's see. There we go. What if I did up here green too, or is that? It's too much. I love the green and the this teal really next to each other. So I'm going to put this like that. Let's see. Oh, maybe I'll just bring that teal back up here too to kind of. This marker is actually darker than it's. Uh, should have tested it. Oh well, you still get the. I, I still get the idea. Cute. And then I'm thinking coral, but I don't want coral too close to the brick brown because they're kind of similar. Actually, no, they're not. They're they're a nice contrast. So maybe I'll bring the coral up here. There we go. Oh, this is going to be a really cute top. And these are going to be straight lines on my pattern, but since it's straight like this, but when I'm wearing it, the lines will drag. So I'm just visualizing how it'll look on my body. But when I draft the pattern, 
these lines will be straight. Now let's put this maroon down there. And then maybe the maroon here. And then this coral. That would be cute. And then the bottom band will be green. Maybe I'll focus the back more on. Yeah, because you also need to think about the back. But you could technically just cut the back if you have just a plain fabric. You could totally just cut the back as one or continue to panel. And then I'm going to do this bottom band as green. That's cute. Oh, I like that. That is really cute. I could even add some green um, embroidery thread that matches that mint and bring it in on some of the pieces, maybe like some shoulder motifs. So many different things we can do. Oh, already a great color mix. Ah, thank you. <laughs> We're just getting started. I'm gonna definitely play around with more. That is, yeah, that's cute. All right, let's just color in the pants. Um, <gasps> Oh my gosh, I did actually cut out a pair of pants that are that knit color. So let's just see what it would look like with mint pants. I haven't sewn them yet though. Oh, this makes me just want to go outside and go to a picnic, ride my bike. These summery, summery outfits. But luckily my loft where I live runs quite warm. We can't control the heat. It's old school rad. So it doesn't get quite cold in here. So I often am wearing summer clothes inside. That is very cute, that outfit. I could very much see myself wearing that. Okay. I like that. Okay. Now I'm going to see this. Uh, the only thing with this sketchbook is the the marker does bleed through. So you do lose one of the croquis on the other side, even if I have this bleed through paper so it doesn't go through to the next page. So that's the one thing about this particular brand of sketchbook. It's, it's not too expensive, uh, but you could also, what I tried to do with this, I outlined the croquis in a black marker, and then if I wanted you to sketch it, I could place just, this is just regular printer paper too. I could place it over and still see through. If you really wanted to not sketch right on your book, you can lift up the croquis for the poses if you want. But since I messed up this one, I'm just gonna flip it over and use this one, but making sure. I, put, I might just sketch out one more idea of this one and then I'll decide between the two and then I'm gonna go to the silky one. I haven't made a silk and tarot shell yet. They've, all, they've always been a linen or a cotton. I haven't really made a silk yet, so that'll be exciting. Okay. Okay, this is an, this is an okay pose for my Entero. Let's do... I'm even thinking maybe I could change up the neckline. What do we think about that? I could round it out. And then do like a, a round... You know, let's try it. Let's try it. Okay, so I'm going to do the... But the thing you have to worry about is this pulls over your head. So you can't do a, unless you put a zipper or a slit in the back with this particular pattern, you can't do a real dual neckline. You have to do more of a scooped neckline to get it on and off. So I'm gonna do a little scoopy scoop neckline like so. Okay. Oh, it's just so relaxing. Just sketching. I was sewing late last night. And it's just nice to have a little have a little break and 
sketch out some ideas and I get to use up my scraps. I'm not digging into new fabric. It's great zero waste for sure. S using up scraps is, there's just not a, a better feeling as a sewist. Just making something work with what you have, not cutting into your brand new fabric, but still something that you can, you know, utilize. <laughs> I put them in Nini culottes again. I really don't go into too many details with the hands because I'm not that good at repl even tracing them. I'm not very good. Just the idea of a hand because in fashion school, if you really, uh, they can really ruin the movement and the essence of a sketch. If all you can focus on is this claw like hand, I would always draw these hands that were just very stiff and awkward and, uh, so I just have the idea of the hands of my sketch. Okay, I'm going to mimic this scoop neckline with a panel. <gasps> I have an idea. I like to play with lines. So if I'm gonna do a scoop, what if I still like, I love a center seam on a shirt. And then what if I did like, trying to think what if I did ang diagonal seams out of there would that look okay or should I or what if I just continued curves I could totally do curved seams what if I did I may need your help on this one Oh, that's a fabulous idea. More v-neck to the back. That's a great idea. And then you can eliminate, if you wanted to go higher in the front, you could definitely go lower in the back, that v-neck, to get it on and off. Or what if I, okay, let me just try this. What if I did like that? Kind of a... And just playing around. That could be kind of cool. This one would be symmetrical though. All right, but the colors, I wouldn't make it symmetrical. Let's put the coral right on top. Let's do maybe one maroon section here. How about, what about a mint here and then a mint there? And then we got a turquoise there and then a turquoise down here and then bring that coral back down there. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. That is super cute. Oh, that's very cute. I like that. Let's try some short brown linen pants on her. Oh, I like that. That is very cute. This lovely. I like the curved panel seams. I think that's really cool. So we have this one or this one. Interesting. I really like the square. I also like this one too. Maybe I'll play around with the pattern first and then I can see what will work the best. 
let's jump into the silky one. I do, I'm going to keep these fabrics together. I love that color combination. So it's definitely going to be something. Oh, thread is caught. There we go. Actually, let's put them down here. Um, oh, okay. Now let's panel some silky fabrics together. They're so lovely. I'm just going to grab another croquis. I think I need at least one more. Or, I mean, how bad would it look with just half this? And then half that. Because we have the, the whites bringing them together. We could just do a seam down the center and do half and half. Let's just draw it out. I'll see what it looks like. And if I have to dig back in my scrap bin, I will do so. All right, so let's find a croaky pose. This one looks good. This is going to be a tricky fabric to draw, but we'll just get the idea of it. So we need a darker green. Where's my test paper? I'll just test it on this. Hmm. Could work. It's a little light. Let's see. A little too yellow. Oh, maybe this one's the one. Oh, that's too dark. I need so many different colors of green. I need a marker pack that's just, okay, this is definitely the best. Okay. Yeah, I need a marker pack that's just shades of green <laughs> for my fabric stash. For sure. Okay, let's sketch this, sketch this out. I like the V-neckline though with this one, I think. Okay. So it's just basically like one seam down the center. draw my ninis now. <laughs> there we go. Cool. Okay. So let's just try one being polka dots. Maybe I will. I'm going to do these polka dots. Sometimes they can be tricky, but I'll just start to color in the circles first. And then I will color around them in the green. Remember with sketching, you don't want to color everything in. It doesn't matter if you go outside the lines <laughs> with sketching. It's all just loose and free. Okay, I think we get kind of an idea. We need to 
define these a little bit more. That gives me an idea. I haven't gone in with my grays yet for extra shading. There we go. That's why my other sketches were missing. They were missing that gray dimension that I like to do above them. So now we need gray, one gray. How am I gonna do this animal print? <laughs> I love a challenge. It's just kind of the ideas of the colors. <laughs> Giraffe. I think I originally picked out this fabric. It's from Minerva. Because I thought there was a bun. I, I, I just thought that there would be a bunny in here, a rabbit, but that's okay. There's not. It's like a deer, giraffe, swans. I still love it though. It's unique. I love a unique fabric. So it seems like the background is like this lighter gray. Let's see. <laughs> Please don't laugh at me if I really mess up drawing this print. <laughs> It's so funny. Okay, let me, you know what? I'm going to start with, I don't even know where to start. Okay, I'm going to start with these like motifs like around, like there we go. <laughs> Maybe just start with the detail with inside the print instead of the background. And you want it to look like that. So you kind of draw half, you don't, everything doesn't have to fit in the piece. You know, I drew half polka dots. That's what makes the sketch really look real with the fabric. So I'm just going to kind of draw, there we go, there, okay, we're getting there. That's why I always say anyone can sketch. I'm a horrible, horrible drawer <laughs> and even I can do this, anybody can. If you, if you see me even just try and draw anything really. It's just something about, probably because I love clothes and fashion so much, it just, and I love the free nature of, of fashion sketching too. It's just not perfect. Oh gosh. I mean, <laughs> I've, I've done worse. Let me all draw the swan one. It's just the idea of the color palette. That's what I'll tell myself. Just a little deer. There we go. Another giraffe. Do another deer. <laughs> oh, this is, oh, there we go. I mean, and then it has these like thicker lines on it. Okay, so now let's shade in the animals and the background. And then we need a, a dark, like a dark gray. Maybe some black, cool gray. Oh yeah, that's for the, the background. Oh, thanks for the encouragement, everybody. You guys are so great. Okay, and let's just fill in. Okay, there we go. You can, that actually looks like that. I'm looking at my screen, what, <laughs> which you can see, and I don't hate it. I, I like just the two together. What do we think? They're, what I what really brings me these together, they're, they're the exact same content and weight and same opaqueness, so they will sew as one. So that's what really drew me together. And they, they both have that element of a polka dot. The green one has the little polka dot, where this one has the larger scale. So they have harmony with one another. And that's a really big thing with print mixing. You have to look at how they come together. Sometimes there is beauty in just throwing random fabrics together and 
they're amazing, but they need to have some similar qualities. A, just in terms of sewing together, and B, you know, the design principles of, you know, an aesthetically pleasing garment. I think I have a whole book on it from school, just the, um, the principles of design. So I think these work really well. They have the same, well, I think I would use white thread then. I like it. I think I'm gonna make it. <laughs> I don't really wanna get another silk in the mix. I think that's decided. I'm just gonna do half, half. Or what if I did, okay, last sketch. What if I did a horizontal line where it was like the yoke was one? I don't think that would look as good though. I think we need the, the, full, the full length one. Okay, for my last sketch then, I'm not 100% sold on those linen panels. So let me just work out one more because I'm really confident in this. I'm glad I did this sketch because I can really get a feel for how those fabrics are gonna look. And I think that's very, very cute. So one last sketch where I work out those linen colors. So here's a blank one right here. It's playing around earlier. Oh, thanks. Someone said, I would have not thought to put those two colors together, but it does look so good. Nailed the different print. Thanks, everyone. I love all the feedback. <laughs> Leslie and Samina, thank you so much. You, could, you are encouraging me. I know you, some, you just never know until you do it. Okay, last one. I'm just really set on drawing one with those four linen colors that I love as much as I just had that feeling. When you, when you just finish the sketch and you have a feeling, all right, this is gonna work. I liked the other two, but I didn't love them. And if I'm gonna use my precious scraps, I'm going to need to love it. So, maybe I just need bigger panels. Oops, went a little low with that, that's okay. Okay. There we go. I'm going to be a pro at drawing Nini culottes by the end of this, too. <laughs> They're pretty easy, though. You'll make these ones just more dramatic. Sometimes you just got to, just gives it action. Oh, I went, <gasps> I gave my painting so much action, it moved my camera. I'll be cautious not to do that in the future. <laughs> there we go. Cute. Okay. All right. I need to be really mindful and really just think about where I want to draw these panel lines. I have coral, I have mint green, I have teal, I have brick brown. I'm just going to do more dramatic boxes, I think. What about like that? I'm gonna do a center seam. I still like a center seam. And then what if I did? What if I kept it simple? I like simple. Let's try this. I'm 
Well, now I'm lost all my, oh, here we go, my original colors. Is that the mint green? Yeah, okay. Or is this, what's the screen look like? Oh, that's too light. Okay. Let's try this, that mint green. Should that be? I think that could be cute coral. And then maybe this coral. I really do love that coral. And then we need to break up these kind of orangey hues with, maybe I'm gonna try, this one more represents, I think. No, it doesn't, Never mind. There's even so many blues. Oh, there we go. I'm already liking this one better. I like the larger blocks. I think that looks better. And when Amanda did hers, she added little sleeve bands. I might try doing that. They're little bands that you can easily sew to the opening of these, a little band. So I'm going to do that. What color do I want? I feel like this band this band definitely needs to be green because there's no green on this side of, oh, wrong green, wrong green. That's okay. <laughs> I think this one was also, oh no, it was a red green. Okay, green and then probably this to bring up the dark because we have the turquoise already on that same plane. So let's do that dark. There, that's it. I'm making this top. I just needed that. I needed to work out all those different options to get to this one. I think that is very sweet. I love, I was thinking that a chevron look too with the, we could do some V's. That is definitely a potential with this as well. That's a great idea. I might try a different one with that, um, but I, I'm, I'm gonna make this one. It's, it's very like Mondrian, that kind of paneling. I wonder, should I add a panel at the bottom? No, I think this is good. No, I like this. I'm gonna make this one and I'm going to make my silky one. Let's just finish this sketch. I would probably wear this with, what color pants should I wear this with? I think, um, I think I do actually have some gray pants. This is, yeah, here we go. Sorry, my camera's shaking a bit. <laughs> I'm too heavy. I need to get uh, probably another solution for that. It's right on my table, so whenever I do too much heavy drawing, it shakes. Well, it's only our second sketching, so by the third time's a charm. <laughs> Ooh, I love this. All right, I think we're done. Let me just add some dimension and I'll wrap this up so we all can get to our sketching and sewing and <laughs> on with our Thursdays. I'm looking for this one. There we go to add. Yes, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna cut this out and put those swatches in and it's going to be in my to sew book. So, but to be honest, 
I'm probably going to cut these and sew these out tonight. <laughs> they won't last long in the book. I just want to get them done. So this is our worked out. From this session, I am making this using up scraps as well as, where did it go? There they are. Oh, I, I was so excited about this one. I didn't even put pants on, on them. <laughs> Maybe I'll just leave white pants, even though that's very dangerous with me because I'm clumsy. <laughs> so this is what I'm making. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I thank everybody for joining me. I love all of your feedback. It's always so much fun. I can't wait to see you in two weeks. Yes, for the next sketching live. And next week, I'm actually going to be doing the same time slot next Thursday at 1 p.m. I'm doing a serger live where I'm going to see how many things I can sew on my serger in one hour. <laughs> <laughs> because April is National Serger Month. I love my serger. I love sewing with my serger. I'm going to challenge myself. I'm going to be cutting out a lot of headbands and bike shorts, things that I will use in the summer. Doing lots of golfing. I love my bike shorts. I might make some scrunchies. Just going to cut a bunch of stuff and see how much I can sew in an hour. You can come join me. Cheer me on. Surge for yourself as well. See how many things you can surge to in an hour. We'll do it together. Happy National Surger Month and happy every day, every month should be Eco Day, Earth Day, because we need to use up our scraps. We don't want to be wasteful. Sustainable sewing is amazing. So happy sewing, everybody, and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>